Welcome to section 11.8. Today we are looking at some special formulas that we can use to find the area of any triangle and a certain number of different types of quadrilaterals called Hero's Formula and Brahmagupta's Formula. Now these formulas are going to be very similar to each other so if you got one down pat the other one should be pretty good too. Hero's Formula. Now Hero's Formula is a formula that can be used to find the area of any triangle any single one, whether it's a right triangle, equilateral, anything, if you know all three sides. So this formula right here, it's a complicated looking formula, and you'll see how it works in just a couple minutes. But the area of the triangle is the square root of the quantity s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c, where a, b, and c are the three sides of the triangle. Now S is sem is, uh, stands for semi-perimeter, which we had done an example in uh, the notes from 11.1 where we had a, a rectangle and we said find out what the semi-perimeter was. And the reason we did that is because in this section with Brahmagupta's formula and Hero's formula, you have to be able to calculate the semi-perimeter. And the way you do that is you just add up all three sides and divide by two. And that will tell you the semi-perimeter, like a semicircle is half a circle. The other formula is Brahmagupta's formula. So this formula is used if you have an inscribed quadrilateral. And that's the key. It's not going to be a matter of any quadrilateral. It has to be inscribed inside of a circle in order to use this. So the area of that inscribed quadrilateral, also called a cyclic quadrilateral, is the square root of s minus a times s minus b times s minus c times s minus d, where a, b, c, and d are the sides of the quadrilateral, and s again is the semi-perimeter. So this formula is very similar to Hero's formula. It's almost identical. The main difference here is in the Hero's formula you're multiplying by the semi-perimeter. Then the semi-perimeter minus all the sides. But in Brahmagupta's formula you don't. It's just s minus a, s minus b, minus c, and minus d, and so on. That's the main difference. So as an example, we have defined the area of this triangle, express your answer as a simplified radical. We could, if we wanted to, use Brahmagupta's formula. But the fact is, this is an isosceles triangle. I don't think I really want to use Brahmagupta's formula because these numbers, I'm sorry, Hero's formula, because these numbers can get fairly large. 12, 12, and 10, it's not a big deal, but if I start multiplying by 12 and 12 and all those times, I'm going to get really large numbers. So instead what I could do is I can use a right triangle and draw in the altitude, which in this case will also be the median. So what I've done here is I've set up this right triangle where it's going to divide that 10 into 5. I have a right triangle with a missing altitude. x squared plus 5 squared equals 12 squared. So solving for the altitude, I get square root of 119, which does not simplify any further. Seems like it should, but it really doesn't. So then from there, we can do 1 half base times height. 1 half 10 times the square root of 119 is 5 root 119. If you used Hero's formula, you would get the same exact thing. It wouldn't be any different. This triangle right here, I give you the area, or I give you the three sides of the triangle, 7, 24, and 25, should immediately pop in your head that that is a Pythagorean triple, and it is. And between the 7 and the 24, is a right angle. So again, Hero's formula can be used, but the easier way to do this is just use 1 half base times height. So 1 half of 7 times 24. Multiply those together, divide by 2, you get 84 for the area of that triangle. Here's an inscribed quadrilateral. Now first thing I'm going to look for in this quadrilateral is, is there anything in this problem that tells me it's a special kind? Is it a rectangle? Is it a trapezoid? Is it uh, a square? It's not. 31, 35, 7, and 5, I don't have any sides that are the same. So it's not going to be a trapezoid that we can easily find the area of. It's not going to be a rectangle, a square, a kite, any of that. So we're kind of stuck. Here, Abramagupta's formula is going to be our last resort. If nothing else works, that's when we use this. So we start off and find the semi-perimeter. We add up all the sides, 31 plus 5 plus 35 plus 7. All that added up gives me 78. I divide that by 2 and I get 39. So the area of this cyclic quadrilateral, inscribed quadrilateral, is going to be given by this formula. The square root of 39 minus 31, 39 minus 5, 
39 minus 35 and 39 minus 7. Subtract those numbers off. 8, 34, 4, and 32. And when I multiply those numbers together, I get 34,816. Very large number. And simplifying this radical by hand, oof, boy, that's a tough proposition here. You can do that, and it would end up being 32 root 34. The other option is if uh, you have a decimal, and that would be okay for this particular one because of the fact that I'm not really focused on you guys simplifying 34,816 as a radical. To me, that's a little bit extreme. Here's another example where Hero's formula, maybe we don't need to use it. I give an equilateral triangle. I get a side of 6. 6 squared over 4 times the square root of 3. It's just that formula we learned in 11.5, area of equilateral triangles. I think you're noticing a pattern now at this point that Hero's formula, it's cool, it's awesome, it does anything you want it to, but it's not necessary if there's an easier way. In this case, there's not an easier way. We have a triangle with sides 5, 7, and 9. That is not equilateral, that is not isosceles, it's not a right triangle. I could draw an altitude in, but it won't help me. It's not going to necessarily bisect that side 9 into 4.5 and 4.5. So the last resort we have is Hero's formula. 5 plus 7 plus 9 divided by 2. So that's going to give me 21 over 2, which is 10.5. In this case, I really want to use a decimal. I don't want to be dealing with 21 over 2 inside of a radical. So I've got 10.5 as my semi-perimeter. So to find the area of the triangle, it's the semi-perimeter, 10.5, times the semi-perimeter minus each of the sides, 10.5 minus 5, 10.5 minus 7, 10.5 minus 9. And then from there, I just plug those pieces in. Multiply all the numbers together, and I get 303.1875. Don't bother simplifying that radical. Take the square root, round to the nearest uh, tenth. 17.4 is our answer for that. Here's an interesting one. We've got a triangle with uh, sides 2, 9, and 11, or it appears to be a triangle. When I add all those up, I get 2 plus 9 plus 11, and I divide by 2. My semi-perimeter is 11. So I plug it into Hero's formula, because again, it's not any of those special kind of triangles that we've dealt with. And I plug in 11, 11 minus 2, 11 minus 9, and 11 minus 11, which will become 0. So this whole thing becomes 0. What this means is this triangle has an area of 0 because it isn't actually a triangle. If we think way back to section 1.2, I think it was, we had the triangle inequality theorem. That said the two smaller pieces, the two smaller sides, have to be more than the third side in order to form a triangle. If I take 2 plus 9, I get the third side. So these don't actually form a triangle, they just form a segment. And you can't find the area of that. And we have this one here, we have 3, 4, and 10. This will be our last one. We do the same procedure. 3 plus 4 plus 10 divided by 2 is 8.5. Plug in 8.5 for S, plug in 3, 4, and 10 for A, B, and C. And the issue that we have is right here with this 8.5 minus 10. We have a negative measurement in there. So when I multiply all that stuff together, I'm going to get a negative value underneath that square root. That's an imaginary number. We haven't dealt with those yet. We're not going to. The area of a triangle cannot be imaginary. It exists or it doesn't. So in this case, we're going to say again, not possible. Thinking about that triangle inequality theorem, this is something that wants to be a triangle but it just isn't big enough. The 3 and the 4 don't make it. But they're not going to connect to form that actual triangle. So Hero's formula is awesome. It will help you find the area of any triangle, but it's not always the best method. It should be used as a last resort. If 1 half base times height, if uh, the process for an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle doesn't work, that's when you should be using Hero's. Brahmagupta, same thing. Make sure, though, that that's also inscribed in the circle.